Hi, let's take a look into product projection search sorting. So I'm going to navigate to sorting. So I can specify a field and what to sort, the sort direction. So the directions are ascending or descending. And let's see what fields I can pass. So I can pass by name, I can pass by price, uh, category order hint, created, last modified field, ID. Okay, let's try to see it on the Commerce Tools um, Postman collection. And to start, I'm gonna create an access token. I'm gonna get my access token. So no environment selected. I'm gonna select my project, Nilsson Royce data project, because I wanna sort my products, which are listed from my uh, Commerce Tools project. And let me try to get my access token. I'm gonna get my access token. Once I got my access token, let me navigate to product projections and I wanna do a search operation with a get. So I'm gonna get a get and I wanna see if it's a sort. There's an option for sort. So there is a syntax here, which says that it has to be field and a direction. And let me copy this and I'm going to place this and direction. I'm going to replace the direction with the, let's start with ascending. I'm going to replace this with ascending. And for the field, I think I have to choose, let's choose a name to start with. And the language is English for English. The IETF language tag is EN. So I'm gonna say this on the Postman collection. I'm gonna say its name dot EN. Okay, so I'm not interested in this. So let's try to sort it now. And we can also make a limit I'm just interested in getting only two products, let's say, uh, just to minimize. Uh, okay, so I have two products, the results of two products, and let's see what's its name. And its price values are here attributes, most of variants, images, price, and SKU ID and variants, meta description, and slug, categories, and name. So here is seven for all marked. So let's change this to descending. We should get a different value descending because I'm going to use this disk um, word for descending. So I should not get this as a first uh, uh, element or first result. I should get a different one. Let's see. I'm going to query it. Okay. And I'm going to do this again. Variant categories. You see here, now I get a differently different name, shopper. And if I revert back it again, you're gonna see the different result. And I'm gonna minimize it. Yes, we got two products and tax category, master variant. Variant, I think it's in the master variant. I should be able to see the name. Images, price, variants. Yes, you can see here. No, not this one, but here. Yeah. Okay, so now let's see what other fields we can query it. So I'm gonna do this last modified at. I'm gonna use last modified at. And I'm gonna add this value, and I'm also gonna 
I'm also gonna take this. Uh, let's let me go to my merchant center products. I'm gonna change something on one of my product, and that should be my last modified product. And let's see if I'm able to get using my sorting. Okay, so this is the one bag organ brown. So I'm gonna change. So I'll run from description just for testing. So I'm gonna save it. And it's modified and I'm gonna publish it so that it's now also available on my product projection search because uh, I'm searching or querying for the current product. So if I go back to my products list, I should see that this is not anymore and modified on, I should get it. You see here, I get this as a top list because this is the one which I modified my latest. Okay, let's see what I get on my ascending limit one. I'm gonna, because I'm interested in only getting the first product because I wanna see that if I'm able to get this back Hogan Brown. Let me do a send. And just publish text category, master variant attributes. I'm gonna close this. Images, prices, I'm gonna close this. And back now, I'm gonna make this descending because I want to see if I'm descending. Let's see if I'm going to get this. Text category attributes, I'm going to close this. Images, prices, and categories. Yes, you see here with the descending, I get my last modified as my first in the descending order. So this is the latest modified. That's what I modified here in Merchant Center. That's great. Now let's apply the same using our um, TypeScript SDK. So let's go back to the coding part. As usual, I'm going to remove my previous code. And this is my query arguments. I can query it. and I get a couple of options already. So I see if there is a sort. Yeah, I see here there's a sort option. I can sort. Uh, it's a string or it's a string or a string of arrays. So I'm gonna sort, and I'm gonna pass this last modify description. And I can also pass a limit one. And I can just perform this product projection search for sorting. I get the search result, but I don't know what that search result is. Um, best way to know is we can just use a data and we can just get data.body.results. Body results and we can see what we have I'm gonna call again you see here some nice information I get here okay I get a 400 and okay syntax error invalid input Okay, syntax error, bad request. Okay, let me see if it works. It was working fine. And we get the data, it works fine. So we add a data and we work here. We call that again. We get this. So what I can do is 
I can also make this stringify so we can see that value stringify and we can stringify the data so that we can see all the values of the Brad Hagen product information. Okay, so hopefully I should be able to say, able to search for this product, bag, bag Hagen, bag. Yeah, you see here, bag Hagen Brown is, we get this result. That's nice. Um, yeah, now we used this sorting functionality of uh, product projection search, and we were able to sort uh, product projections uh, search results using sorting option. And I showed you example with uh, how to do it with Postman collection, and we also looked into how it looks like using um, TypeScript SDK. I hope uh, it was useful. Thank you.